The focus of part 5 in the primary server availability video series is net backup upgrade. In our demonstration environment on appliance A, we have an active instance of NetBackup primary server version 9, which will be upgraded to version 10. This instance is also replicated to appliance B. Before the upgrade can be started, the target version of the NetBackup container image must be uploaded to the appliances repository. We start the NetBackup upgrade from the system topology dashboard. Once the instance to be upgraded is selected, we are warned that the NetBackup processes and replication will be paused. On the next screen, we can select the desired NetBackup target version. Because our instance is replicated, the same application image version must be in the repository on the appliance B. Once the target version is selected, we can run pre-check. After successful pre-check, parameters verification, and acknowledging upgrade and possible version rollback constraints, the upgrade process will automatically continue. Once the upgrade instance process starts, we are automatically taken to the activity monitor. Once the upgrade is finished, we can switch to the system topology dashboard to verify the status of our instance. From the time the upgrade completes, we have 24 hours to run some tests and commit or roll back. In our case, we are committing version 10.3 net backup upgrade. After successful version commit, we can switch to the replication dashboard and resume replication. Looking at appliance B, uh, the replication target, we notice that our replica has been upgraded to version 10.3. Upgrading NetBackup primary server on Flex appliances is easy and primary server availability also updates the replica. If we were to install emergency engineering binary or resize the storage, these changes would be automatically propagated to the replica as well.